Hello and welcome back to another Walking Dead video and today we will be ranking all seasons we have got in the Walking Dead universe. That is a total of 21 different seasons from four different shows. That is Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead World Beyond and Tales of the Walking Dead. If you want my Walking Dead all seasons ranked video look in the top right as i'll go in more depth in those separate videos this is more of an overview video otherwise we'll be here all day saying every single reason why i put these individual seasons in their place so let's jump right into this and go into number 21 and we have the walking dead world beyond season one and this is definitely by far the worst season of the walking dead universe like this show season one focuses entirely on the kids all the kids are boring, the acting's terrible, it's just the focus on the kids. Season 2 is just way better because it adds in characters we actually like. But season 1 itself is really boring and I definitely think it should have focused on Huck and Felix trying to find the kids. Instead of the kids kind of, we can't kill these walkers, let's run off, go to this bit with a bunch of walkers, let's run through them. It's just very boring, it's not a very good road trip thing. In 20th has to be Fear the Walking Dead Season 5. I know a lot of people really hate Season 7 and think that's worse than Season 5. But personally for me, i rather watch Season 7 over Season 5 because I hate that Season 5 looks ugly. Aesthetics are very important to me. So going into this season, it's definitely the ugliest season with like them half come into the black and whiteness. Like Season 4 committed completely and you're like, okay, that's the aesthetic. Season 5, they pulled it back a little. And it's just the two plots are really dumb with the radiation plot that kind of goes nowhere and then the second plot which is just our characters moping around for half a season until they decide yeah we lost in 19th is the world beyond season two this is a bit better but it's still absolute trash it only gets good in the last maybe five episodes and then the show ends and the final episode feels more like just a season finale instead of a series finale the only bright side about this season is Chase, but other than that, it is just unbearable at points. Anything with Iris in is just so bad. I really, really hate this show. In 18th is The Walking Dead Season 8. And as I said in my other video, this could have been half a season. They really stretched out this season. Like you could have had Negan and Rick kind of duke it out in maybe episode one. Instead of no, they're gonna shoot and waste all their ammo. Then they're gonna run off. Daryl and his like idiot brigade free the guys for another eight episodes. It's just really dumb and nothing really much makes sense. Carl dies stupidly and this is definitely the season which killed The Walking Dead for me. I was able to get past season 7, but season 8 really was like, bruh, I'm almost Walking Dead out. If season 9 was season 7 quality, I definitely would have stopped watching the show because of season 8. In 17th is The Walking Dead season 11, and this is the same as season 8. It could have been half a season or less. Why do we need to wait an entire season to march to war when the back half of season 6 was marching to Negan? This is just a really, really boring season and it's way better at binging than watching a week to week because when you're watching a week to week, you see episode one, absolute fantastic episode. Nothing happens until maybe episode four where you see Rick again and then nothing happens again until episode eight and then nothing happens again until episode 16. Why could you have not maybe condensed it down a little more or switch up the episode formats maybe not have it be bottle episode there's too many bottle episodes or have the episodes that are important maybe be clustered a little more like why was episode four not episode two this season is just really badly paced and it's just very boring it's not as bad as season eight but i really don't like this season in 16th place is fear the water in season seven and this could be a bit controversial to have it be this high because a lot of people would have it as the worst of the worst but personally i feel like the first maybe five episodes are solid they are really really good it's a very interesting season the first half of the season i think is very entertaining it's just the back half that really lets it down episode 16 is okay it's just from episode 9 to 15 which is absolutely dreadful other than episode 11 so there are some like nuggets in this turd like some gold nuggets but it's a very mixed season it's the second worst in my opinion and the only reason because of that is the first few episodes are solid and i really like the aesthetics and it feels like a fallout show before we got the fallout show so 
I am very confident with it being here in 16th. So, but make sure to tell me, do you agree with that or would you have it a lot lower? I think some of you would. In 15th is Tales Season 1. And this is very much a mixed bag. There are some fantastic episodes in Tales Season 1. But half of the episodes in Season 1 are just terrible. I know a lot of people really hate Episode 2. Personally, it is just some dumb fun. I personally really hate 6 four and three those are just very boring and each episode just feels like filler these are meant to be self-contained stories about characters that we know and love any one of those are that and i feel like it was a poor version of that episode three it was a rewrite of the origin of the whisperers how about you make the whisperers be a part of the episode not just be a shoe in at the end this is not what you expect you go into tales and you think okay these are either what if stories and stuff like that and that's how the show is hyped up as what if stories? Stories about characters that are already dead. No, they are brand new stories that either break the walking dead lore, shoehorn new things in. Overall, this show just doesn't respect the universe that it is in. So it has to be this low. In 14th is Fear Season 4. And this show is the epitome of mixed bag because I feel like episode 1 to 8 is a good half and that could have been its own season really it's just the back half that really lets it down because there's no real villain you have the worst villain of all time this random crazy lady and apparently she's dangerous because our characters say so even though she does nothing bad it's just a real back half that lets the season down i really like the first half i really do i think nick's death was done well it does look bad that is it's one of the worst looking things just behind fear but the introduction of Morgan was fine. We get introduced to John Dory. There's some new characters. It's an okay reboot, but it just isn't needed. What's the point of rebooting the show when season three set up something really cool? And the new show is like, nah, we want Morgan. We want the original cast killed off. And we want it to be the Morgan show. It was just a rebranding and the back half, as I said, terrible, boring. And it just, there wasn't enough story for this season. Moving on to 13th place and we have The Walking Dead Season 11 and this season was definitely too long and it felt too rushed. If they were going to try and tell two arcs worth of stories, just don't try and put it into one season. Try and maybe separate it into maybe a Season 11, Season 12. The showrunners should have gone AMC and be like, we have all this, we can't do this. Instead of being like, yeah, 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 Reapers, they go bam, bam, bam. They really do nothing. Our people at Alexandria are at no threat. We're going to pad out this to nine episodes because we can't delve into the Reaper arc. So we're just going to pad out the little, like, kind of very shallow story they have for the first nine episodes. Very boring. Main villain of the past half does nothing. And then the Commonwealth arc. We're going to do nothing until the final like eight episodes. Where everything really happens. We kind of build up Lance being the main villain. Nah. We kind of build up Sebastian. Nah. Pamela suddenly a main villain. Okay. Now we have Variant Walkers out of nowhere. You know the ones from season one. They suddenly exist now. And then we're going to kill them off in an explosion. That's CGI. It's a very rushed season. And it is definitely the worst out of the Kang seasons. In... 12th place is season 10 and I went through a three minute rant in this one so I'm gonna keep it short I really don't like the season I'm, I'm judging it plus the bonus episodes which do drag it down I hate episode one because it just retreads episode 16 of season nine you could have really started this season on episode three I feel episode two is a flashback kind of useless this episode suffers with filler there is not enough deaths there are too many fake out deaths in this season the last six episodes are all kind of we have no budget but we're gonna do it anyway because we're gonna rush out more episodes of the walking instead of waiting for covid to end here's negan sword but every other episode is terrible this season has some of the worst walking dead episodes because of the bonus episodes and episode 16 is just really annoying it's one of my most hated episodes i really hate that i really want to be better it was terrible I am really mad about the season still and it came out almost two years ago. So let's move on before I end up ranting for another six minutes or something. In 11th place is season two. I know a lot of people love this, but for me, this could have been seven episodes. You could have condensed the two stories that they had in the season with the kind of Sophia story, maybe, maybe three episodes and maybe four episodes having the Randall and what to do with him 
arc there and then have the shame one go all the way through it's just way too long this episode like format was kind of sucky with some episodes doing absolutely nothing and it didn't help that halfway through frank darabont left so they were finding a new showrunner and that's why nothing really happens in the season and for some reason amc destroyed the season by lowering the budget even more from season one even though season one was such a success they wanted to make the walking Dead more profitable so they just reduced the budget so they couldn't really do much in this season we now have number 10 the halfway point it's season one of the walking dead and this is the perfect way to start a series and a franchise we meet amazing characters the story is simple and great it is paced well there are only six episodes and it is just such a great season and i do recommend having to go watch this in ninth place is fear the walking dead season one and i think this could be a bit controversial having season one of fear being a bit better than season one of the walking dead but i do prefer season one of fear because i like the downfall the very so downfall of the walkers coming in and the first few episodes are really about our characters living their normal lives they meet the first walker and then we get the big riot thing at the end of episode three absolutely perfect i really don't like the giant time jump they did between three and four so you overlook the military coming in and making it safe zone which is a bit sucky but it was a very good start to the original kind of origin of the downfall i really like this season and I have rewatched it probably more than The Walking Dead Season 1 because I really enjoy the characters more. I think Travis was a standout. It's a very entertaining season to see what really happened at the start because Rick didn't see all this. Rick woke up two months in and was just like, wow, the world's gone. We actually see the downfall of society and how the military failed to contain the Walker virus. In 8th place is Fear the Walking Dead Season 2. And... This is a lot like season two of The Walking Dead where some people absolutely hate it and some people love it. Personally for me, it does have the same issues as season two of The Walking Dead. But I feel like the locations are better. We get the cool idea that they're literally just sailing south and they stop off every once in a while. And we see how other parts of America on the coast and Mexico are dealing with the outbreak. The reason why this is so high is the location of the second half once they're in Mexico. Mexico is the perfect location for this show. I really, really like seeing how another country dealt with the outbreak. And we also get some amazing character development for characters like Travis and Nick. With Nick adapting a lot like Shane very quickly to the new world but not going crazy like Shane. And we do get one of my favourite things in the entire Walking Dead universe, episode 14 I think, is my favourite episode of Fear, one of my favourite episodes of Fear with the giant thing with like Travis trying to figure out what happened to Chris. I hated Chris, but that moment where Travis realises these people killed Chris is one of my favourite moments in the Walking Dead universe. I just really love this season and it really helps that nostalgia is looking back on the season makes it better than it is it does have issues i do have to say the pacing issues and they spend way too long at the boat but once they're in mexico this season is almost goated in my opinion in seventh place is the walking dead season four and this season is two halves the first half is absolutely perfect would never touch anything but never say anything bad about that i really really like the flu outbreak and the main villain of the first half is a sickness you can't fight it conventionally and it's very good for herschel's character the second half does have some issues there are some amazing episodes in the second half with things like the grove and episode 16 which is a but the second half is just bottle episodes with characters moseying around going let's head to terminus or let's do this and it does get a little boring if you don't like certain characters you go really long periods of time with just watching beth do something stupid i just don't like the back half i think it's a cool idea with them all trying to get to terminus but i feel like the way they should have told this is to have all the stories maybe be the same, but interlock them so they're not bottle episodes. So each episode you would pick up with Rick for a bit, Daryl and Beth for a bit, Carol for a bit, and it would go through and maybe tell it a bit more like Game of Thrones where you just kind of touch base of each character's for each episode. And I feel like that would have definitely improved it. Just changing the format 
of this season would drastically improve the back half. In sixth place is going to be The Walking Dead Season 6. And it's very interchangeable with Season 5. But Season 6 is so good. I used to give it so much slack because of the end of Episode 16. But overall, this season is very, very solid. With the No Way Out arc being one of my favourite arcs. And definitely the best adapted to the show. There is some issues with... Glenn fake out the split up of the No Way Out arc from episode 8 and episode 9 at that point and the end but everything else is perfect I really really like the build up to Negan the suspense and from episode 10 all the way up with our characters feeling basically unstoppable they these characters are at their prime they think they're the best after what they've done so they don't think anything could beat them at that point so I really like them go to Hilltop and they'll be like yeah we'll do it they kill them with no remorse. This is definitely the darkest we've seen our heroes go. Just to sneak into someone's house. Kill them and doesn't care about the repercussions. Or their families that they are breaking apart. I really, really like the ambiguity of that moment. And the scenes. This is just a very, very solid season. But it is let down by the ending. Which rubbed me the wrong way for a really long time. And this was definitely one of my least favourite seasons. Just because of the ending. But looking at the entire season. It is good. Now, in fifth place, we have Fear the Walking Dead Season 6. This might be controversial to have it over Season 6 of The Walking Dead, but Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 is absolutely fantastic. Going from two seasons of mediocre to the worst thing ever, we had Fear the Walking Dead Season 6, which fixed everything. I think it's definitely because the writers apparently didn't write basically any of this season. The showrunners just had their hands off and they had other people do it. And it really shows how good it is. They definitely got rid of the ugliness and it's definitely one of the prettiest looking shows. They were like, okay, everyone hated how it looked. Reboot it. Make it look different. And they really fixed Morgan in my opinion. Morgan was this really bad character in season 4 and season 5. But they evolved Morgan and they definitely would have never done this on The Walking Dead. Morgan on fear season six especially he became one of my favorite characters in the universe mostly because they were like okay we're gonna get rid of this flip floppy Morgan with life is precious clear Morgan and they're gonna find a neutral where Morgan will kill for the ones he loves the story is amazing with Virginia being really just one of the best villains in Fear the Walking Dead, just out of nowhere, she was really annoying in season 5, then out of nowhere they gave her this development to be like, oh yeah, she's doing all this for her sister, turns out it's her daughter, I really, really liked Virginia and the back half villain, with the end is the beginning and Teddy, outstanding, we just need a little more of I feel, and the big just kind of explosive ending with, yeah, we're going to nuke everything, we're jumping the shark in the Walking Dead universe. We're going to nuke ourselves. It was just absolutely fantastic from start to finish. And this season does have some great deaths with John Dory's episode. Episode 8 definitely one of my favourite episodes in Fear. For how they handled his death. Even though it is, if you think about it, a carbon copy of Nick's death. Down to the music, I will add. Because I've watched both deaths back to back. They use the same music. In both deaths. But it is just an amazing season. With only a small few nitpicks. In fourth place. Will be season three of The Walking Dead. And this is the season where I fell in love with The Walking Dead. This is the season where I was like. Yep. Yeah, this will be my life now. The governor is definitely one of the best villains we've ever seen on The Walking Dead. We have the prison. Which is definitely one of the best locations. We have Rick finally stepping into the role. Of becoming the leader. It does go a bit down in the maybe final two episodes. But this is a fantastic season. And where The Walking Dead found its foot in. In third place will be Fear the Walking Dead Season 3. And again this is the season where Fear found out what it was meant to be. It's a shame that it was rebooted. Because if it carried on Fear would definitely have been such a great show and it would be over by now which is weird because the original show was like yeah fear would have been seven seasons this season is when the show really focuses on making madison the main character and i know some people hate her but i think it worked and it showed us madison doing anything for her kids and we showed the beginning of the dark madison storyline but it was rebooted so we never saw that it was an amazing season we got to see america again which is great in texas so we got to see yet another new location but we got to see more of mexico and it was very entertaining we got to see some of the best characters it's just a fear like troy and walker it was really good we got some more strand 
and Daniel Dynamic. And the ending is really good. This is definitely an amazing final episode for Fear the Walking Dead Season 3. It's a shame it was never picked up, but the ending itself was absolutely fantastic with that. Like, who survived the dam? We only know Madison survived, but if they carried on, it would have been amazing. It's just such a great season. There is a few issues here, there, and there with it basically being like, yeah, we're going to stay at the farm. Oh, no, we're going to go back to Mexico. It was a bit flip-floppy at points, but absolutely fantastic season. And I really, really like that season. It might be nostalgia, but it's definitely just peak fear for me. In second place is The Walking Dead Season 9. And this season saved The Walking Dead for me. This season was just outstanding and just a shocker for like, it was just, you go after season 8 and you're like, oh, I just don't want to watch any more Walking Dead. Season 9 comes out, new show and you're like, bam, we rebooted it. It's even better. They got rid of Rick in the most respectful way possible. They had a whole arc dedicated to saying goodbye to Rick. Absolutely perfection. This season also has the build up to the fair. Absolute perfection. I do think the last episode was a bit meh. And maybe episode 14 was meh too. This season was almost number one but can't be because I feel like this season does have some filler things like 16, 14 and maybe even like 7. I feel like that's a bit on the thing. You could have pushed them down 7. Could have been squeezed into maybe 6 or something like that. I just feel like there are some issues with this season. It is structured a bit weirdly, maybe kept Rick for a bit longer, I feel. So he could have seen Alpha and maybe had Rick have a more like heroic exit. Even though his was heroic as hell, you could have done more with Rick, I feel. But in first place, the most perfect season of the Walking Dead universe is season five. And this season is absolutely perfect. It does have some issues with Beth. That middle part is a bit eh. But overall... This season is the peak of The Walking Dead for me. This season is where we had the end of the Hunter arc. We had our characters walking around and surviving in the wilderness. This is what everyone loved. Everyone loved when our characters were on the road because they had the threat of the walkers plus the environment. And the introduction to Alexandria was great. This season is also the only season I feel where we have the first episode and the last episode be amazing because normally in every other season of any of the shows either the first episode or the last episode is absolutely like mid-tier like look at season nine for example the last episode is kind of mid-tier and pointless because season 10's first episode is exactly the same as season nine's last episode so this is only the like kind of the only season where Every episode is great. We do have some bottle episodes. Like, I know a lot of people hate Tyrese's death episode. But I feel like it was a very good episode. But it could have maybe been saved for the No Way Out arc, maybe. Overall, I actually loved this season. And it is absolute perfection, in my opinion. But this is just my list. So if you disagree with me, make sure to tell me in the comments down below. And give me a little reasons why you have your list in your way. I'd like to know your thoughts, opinions, anything down below on this list and on the Walking Dead universe in general. But if you want more Walking Dead content, please look on the screen. If you want my ranking for the 11 seasons of the Walking Dead, top right. And if you want my ranking for Fear Seasons, the top left. However, this is it for me today. So goodbye, peace out, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.